What's up everybody, it's your boy Duty back again with another video. And I was gonna take a little break for the rest of the day, but I was watching a little bit of our boy play Splatoon, knowing he was gonna be terrible, and of course, he was. But, I decided to clip him because he said one really weird thing. Not even weird, it's just, it's typical I guess for Phil, but for me it's weird. And it's related to his story on what happened to him on 9-11. And you would think most people would reflect on the fear, the worry, the uh, concern for others, how eerily weird the day was. No, our boy Phil has to, um, his focus was, you know, his, uh, his day date with his mother, <laughs> good lord. And how he didn't get to go eat, he didn't, to go, he didn't get to go shopping, and he just didn't get to spend that quality time with his mother out, you know, and... You know, I guess maybe he was hoping to get that Wolverine figures that he always wanted, but it just didn't materialize. So the the terrorists are officially detractors. Let's get into the video. Anonymous Tibber, give me $1.15, this is Gunner Glass's time. Uh, curious where I was on 9-11. Based on your age, you're probably an underclassman in college, I'm guessing. Uh, I've told this story many times. Yes, I was in college. It was a day off for me. I was actually with my mother. Uh, and we were actually gonna have a nice day out together. Um, we were planning on actually like going to the mall, maybe the movies together. You know, at that age, a young 20s, I still like to spend time with my mom. <laughs> no, no 20 year old says they like to spend time with their mom. The only time you like to spend time with your mom is when you need something or you need her to spend some money on you. And it sounds like that's what it is. It sounds like you were in school and you needed a day off and you needed to be pampered and you needed to, you know, uh, go shopping and spend some of your mom's money. That's what it sounds like. And uh, we were gonna have a nice day out, and then as we were getting ready to go out, all this crazy stuff happened. You know, we watched it on TV. Doesn't it remind you how he has his day out with his with his wife, with Soul Maid? I, I guess he continued the tradition of going out one time a week with his mom, and he carried that over to one time with his Soul Maid. And it was just so weird and surreal and odd and this, this weird feeling of uncertainty like what's gonna happen what the hell's going on in the world and we did still try to go out but everything closed because everything that was going on you know rightly so um and that was about it you know not not much to say because unlike a lot of people who were like oh i was a kid in school or this or that it was just kind of a weird day for me A weird day for you. I guess the weirdness was that you didn't get to go spend a day out with your mommy. Someone with a torpedo that homes in on enemies and detects them, but it doesn't, it explodes for mid damage. It's what's kind of. He tried to snipe me. He got me. Donut. We're losing. What the hell? I don't even know what happened. I just died immediately. I had zero chance. Great, the bomb went nowhere. I don't know how to dodge that. I tried going in the ink and it still hit me when I was in the ink too. Seems like a close match. Oh, it's a homing bomb. I didn't realize my bomb was a homing bomb. I died. I have no clue. That was just all over the place, back and forth. I slashed and missed. That sucked. I should use the hammer, huh? That sucked. Oh, oh shit! I killed the crab. Did you see that? 
I slashed the crab and the crab died. So I guess I do a lot of damage with this. Wow, I died right away. You chart the pink charge does more damage? Yeah, but then you can't attack, right? Like, I, I don't know. I gotta figure out how to use this thing. We're, do we're losing miserably. We are really dying badly. Our boy Phil was just utterly utter garbage. He was no help whatsoever. miserably I don't know about this weapon it seems like it's only for melee attacks and you have to be like right in their face to do anything effective it seems pretty weak actually the crab and your hammer are invisible from up front but you can splat them from behind Michael did a super saying, why am I sensitive about my hair I am I don't care I don't care about my hair if I cared about my hair, don't you think that I would dye it or do something? You know, I don't give a shit. <laughs> so I slashed and killed them, but I immediately died. I died instantly with a trade with a gun, so what's the point? Uh, wow, I hit them and they didn't die and I died instantly. Yeah, this weapon is terrible. Even the Splattershot Jr. kills you faster than you can kill with this weapon. It does nothing! The pain goes right through, but it didn't even damage him. Wow, I, I literally hate this. I'm trying to give it an honest shot, but it seems like it's terrible. Wow, I can't, dude. Did you see how many times I had to hit them? That was like five hits to kill them. <laughs> yeah, you can't ever get a clean kill. They, they always end up shooting you while you're trying to hit them, and you die. So it's a pretty shitty weapon. Anyway, that's as much as I could take of that gameplay. He was just utterly garbage. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out.